Hi there! Sensei Victoria Whitfield here and this is your weekly love letter from the dojo at naturalintuition.com your source for channeled holistic stress management techniques and guidance for developing your natural intuition. This week in particular source is saying that you need to mind your time. Mind your time. Perhaps uh, we've really been getting sucked into social media lately or perhaps um, you'll start speaking and before you know it oh my goodness the the time is up we, we don't have any time to, to hear other people's stories because it just <gasps> we're losing a sense of time in the energy the guides are saying that this sense of or also always being late Having issues with minding your time is usually a crown chakra issue. So for those of us who are having either an overly activated crown chakra, so like, woo, we are wide open to sensing and perceiving spiritual energy and purpose and passion and all of that. We're wide open to that. Or it's imbalanced where we're not sensitive, you know, on the other end of the spectrum. We're not sensitive to knowing what the point is or what our main goal or purpose is. We're not clear on our values. That's a crown chakra issue. We're not understanding exactly what should come next or what's the most balanced way to approach a situation. When we have either a crown chakra activation or a crown chakra imbalance going on, our concept of time can really get threatened. Some other things that can happen when your crown chakra is going through a little bit of a shift is you start having deja vu more. That's a different way of being outside of time. Where time uh, as a line, right, of memory or events starts compounding in more of a quantum sense. Neither here nor there. This week in particular, what you want to watch out for is how you mind your time. Making sure that you are giving yourself enough time, say, to travel comfortably if you are going from point A to point B. Are you rushing? Do you tend to rush yourself, especially recently? Just Do you give yourself enough time to comfortably transition from working time while you're at work to lunch time back to working time do you give yourself padding mind your time the reason why the guides are saying that this week in particular you want to mind your time because how you occupy your time what actions you take within a certain time period can generate how you feel. And one of the things that we say the most here at the dojo is that what matters most is how you feel. Well, it's very hard to feel comfortably or to feel comfortable when you are pressed for time or have no sense of time management or time consciousness. Now, I know that for some of you who are watching right now, you're thinking, oh, I know exactly who she's talking about. My husband's always late. I'm going to send him this video. And if you are watching this, this message is for you. Don't hot potato this message. This is for you in particular. So by all means, do share this video if someone else is coming. Uh, to mind for you but before you do that don't miss your blessing so just want to put that out there okay I'm hearing the Oracle cards calling in the energy this week it is the messenger Oracle cards deck one of many decks that we have here at the dojo and this one in particular step forward when we're talking about minding our time it's all about being mindful conscious balanced and grounded getting a hold on managing your time consciously 
not only with getting from point A to point B or getting things done, but also honoring transitions and padding in the way that you create your schedule can really ground your energy. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Black Panther, nourish the soul. Nourish the soul, incredible flaming eyes. And of course we match. <laughs> oh, they're telling me read in particular, but right off the bat, what I'm hearing from this card is that minding your time is about honoring yourself and remembering to practice self care. So let's see here. Drink in life. Use your senses to explore your world, to see, touch, taste, smell, hear, and experience all that is within you and around you. Your journey through life is meant to be a sensory experience. Your life is meant to be a rainbow of color, full of motion and sound. It is not meant to be a bland, tasteless experience of simply black, and white. Be sensual. Explore yourself and your world every day and nourish your soul with every moment. Here's what we'll leave off this week. The guides are saying that you need to mind your time so that you have enough temporal space to enjoy your life. Your senses can expand and really take in and savor the experience of being alive, feeling and enjoying each moment when there's enough time to do so. Perhaps the reason why you feel compressed, stressed and squished is because you haven't been creating a schedule that respects your need for temporal space giving yourself enough time to feel relaxed or to feel productive or to feel grounded and at ease. I'm not sure who I'm speaking to, but I feel like this is very specific to one person in particular that you really have been cramming your schedule. You've been t a tight schedule, crammed to the max because you're trying to get as much done as possible, right? You have a lot of responsibilities, understood. And the guides are saying, while you're cramming your schedule, try and cram more space <laughs> in there for you. Send me an email back, comment below, let me know what's coming up for you and hearing this message about minding your time and really nourishing your soul. You deserve it. You really do. You work so hard. I know you do. I know you do. I feel you. I'm right there with you. So make sure you subscribe on YouTube so that you get your love letters first every week and we will see you next time bye Mwah.